Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing the latte makeup that we've been seeing around the internet. Um, if you are unfamiliar with the trend, it is like minimal blush, like almost like 50 shades of brown, basically. Like a lot of bronzer, a blown out like brown, like not necessarily a smoky eye, but you could do a smoky eye if you wanted. Um, if you were to do blush, like an orange blush that like fits in the brown kind of family, um, like a brown lip. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I have to work in an hour, so I probably have to like be kind of fast today. So I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to start with my handy dandy glow screen. I've been using this as my primer like almost daily because SPF 40 and it's stunning. It gives you a really nice glow underneath your makeup. And it gives you a tiny bit of coverage, but like not much. And since the star of the show is bronzer today, I'm going to be starting off with like underpainting. Um, I'm going to start with bronzer, do the like orange blush I was talking about, um, and then I'm going to do like concealer. I don't think I'm going to do foundation today because my skin's been looking really nice. I'm going to start off with my Say bronzer. It is really, really pretty. Um, it's like the perfect color for me. And I'm going to use my Patrick Ta bronzer brush. It's going to look crazy, <laughs> but it'll look good in the end, I promise. Yeah, I really need that two-sided one because like I'm using another brush to blend it out because this blush this brush doesn't blend very well. But I love it for placement because it's so it's like angular and it puts it in the perfect spot. Perfect spot. And for bronzer, I always do it where the sun naturally hits your face. So it's cheekbones, nose, and the temples. Don't mind the noise in the background, it's um, the dogs playing around. Now I'm going to use my Fenty Cream Blush in Fuego Flesh. And I can't go like complete look click <laughs> whoa and I can't go completely blushless because like I'm a blush girly but it's an orange blush so it kind of just like blends into the bronzer perfectly I forgot how much I loved this blush when you work at Sephora you forget how much you you forget about the makeup you loved before you worked there because you're constantly like in the newness and like there's stuff coming out constantly it's so, like you never you always forget what you use at home because there's so much new stuff okay so now bronzer and blush isn't done but i'm going to go in with my concealer i'm doing my givenchy prism libre concealer in C240. And I use this as an all-over concealer. Um, 
it gives like a really nice like your skin but better and it does increase under my under eyes and my under eyes are very very picky when it comes to concealer so i'm just using it as my base today And now that that's done, I'm gonna just like re-intensify the bronzer and the blush because it kind of like toned it down a little bit. And I want the bronzer and the blush are the stars of the show. Well, the bronzer mainly. Very cute. I'm gonna use my Anastasia, Anastasia my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the same thing but with powders. Um, I'm not going to do any powder blush today, I'm just going to go in with some powder bronzer. And I'm using my Fenty bronzer in shade Private Island. It's so pretty. Um, I don't bake underneath my eyes because my eyes are really, really particular when it comes to like anything being, up, being up on them. So I just do like a light layer of the Charlotte powder. But I always bake underneath my bronzer or blush just to clean it up and give it more of like a snatched effect. And I'm using um, the one size powder today. Do you see like how it looks more natural and more snatched at the same time? That is what we are going for. The packaging is so cute. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute while I do um, my eyes. For my eyeshadow today, I'm using my Gemini palette. Um, I normally use the greens, but I'm using the warm browns today. Handy dandy Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. And I'm doing like a really, really blended, um, warm brown. And I, I always do sparkle, so, yeah. I'm going to start with Luna, the lightest shade. That is not even showing up. So I'm going to go in with polka dot instead. For anyone that doesn't know how to blend eyeshadow, how you hold your brushes is very important and your brush size is very important. I am doing a very blended look so it doesn't really matter. Um, the farther you hold your brush back, the better your blend's gonna be. If you hold your brush very, very, like really right here, all the color is gonna be deposited and it's gonna be really hard to blend. So hold it way back here and then you'll get the best blend.
I do think this purse is a little too small for what I'm going for, so I'm gonna grab a fluffier one. Finding brushes that are not stained with um, bright colors is the hard part because this is my second YouTube um, video ever. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am a bright color girly. Um, browns are not normally in my wheelhouse, so all of my brushes are stained like pink and purple and blue. And I'm just taking that along my eyelid and going up a little bit on the outer part. I'm not going to go way too high on this part because I want it to be more like winged out a little bit. It's really pretty. And then you just do the same thing on the other eye immediately. If you don't do the same thing on the other eye immediately, you're going to forget what you did. Not me trying to open this eye while I'm blending. <laughs> I have like eyeshadow in my eyeball. And <laughs> now my eye is watering. It's gonna be a fun day. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> Shout out to the girlies who whose eyes water every time you buy shadow but we still do it because it's stunning. Okay, I'll have to clean that up a little bit because of my eye. Cute. To darken everything up, I'm gonna go in with Cupcake. I'm using the same brush. You don't have to use a million brushes if you're in the same color family. For darker colors, you just want to tap a tiny bit and then you can build it up. Um, if you go too intense with the darker colors, it gets harder to blend and it's easier to build up. So I'm just doing like one little tap and then I'm tapping off the excess. And I'm focusing this only on the outer, the outer side. I normally do halo eyes, but I'm not gonna do a halo eye today. The ground is broken, ground breaking. Gorge. One more little tap, and then you tap the excess off. And yes, I blended higher with the other color, but I'm not gonna do that with the darker color because I want it to be a nice gradient. And then I'm using the side of the brush that I didn't put any eyeshadow on and blending it. In. Just one in. So do you see how I have like, it's a very nice blend inside and then I left the inner part for like a shimmer because I always do a shimmer and now we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye why do I keep opening this eye when I'm blending yeah this eye is messing with me This eye is praying for my downfall. So since I messed this side up, I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder on a clean brush. I'm really packing that on and then just blending under eye, my under eye and then blending it out just to clean it up. And that gives me a nice swing. So I think I'm gonna do the, do the same thing on the other eye actually. Okay, this eye is a little darker, so I'm just going to add darkness to that eye. And I am going to go in with the small brush I used earlier um, for the darker color. I'm 
Okay, cute. Um, for my under eye, I think I'm just going to use like the same brush I used for the darker color and then just clean it off. And then I'm gonna follow the same um, recipe I used for my upper eye, just along the like first half of my um, under eye. I'm not gonna go all the way in because when you go all the way in, it tends to close your eye off. And I already have like pretty hooded eyes, so I don't want like them to be like completely shut. For your under eye specifically, you need a small brush because if you use a f um, like a big fluffy brush, then your eyeshadow is gonna be like way down here, and you don't want that. Do you see how my eye is still open because I didn't go all the way in? Cute, cute, cute. For the shimmer, I'm gonna use the shade Gemini in the Gemini palette. I'm gonna use my fingers because um, Melt Cosmetics um, shimmers are pretty like chunky, so if I use a brush, I tend to get fallout. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's stunning. And then taking the fluffy brush I use, I'm just gonna blend to make sure there's no like harsh line between the two. Cute. I don't know if this is giving latte makeup anymore because that, that shimmer is pretty like warm toned. I don't know, it's good enough. <laughs> I'm going to dust my big right now. Pop a little of my brow gel on. I'm just using my Kosas um, air brow gel today. It's nothing groundbreaking. Um, my brows are like pretty perfect right now, so they don't need as strong of a hold as like I normally do with my Patrick Ta. The Patrick Top Brow Gel is a game changer. But do you see the difference in these brows? Like this one is more like lifted and this one is a little bit more down because my hairs are a little bit longer over there. Brow gel is a necessity, gals. Cute, cute, cute. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter. Just a little bit. I'm going to use some of my Lemonhead LA Glitter Palette. I'm going to use one of these two. I think this one is going to match the look the best. Um, my summer makeup has consisted of um, glitter underneath the eyes a lot. And I think I'm not changing that because it's stunning. Um, I need a mirror for this. I don't want to get too close to the camera. Look how fucking, look how stunning this is. I'm gonna do some on the inner corner too and like blend it up into the eyeshadow. It's like an exact match to the eyeshadow too. It's really pretty. They complement each other very well. just got glitter in my eyeball <laughs> luckily these are not like sharp pieces so it's okay 
This eye is like, this eye wants me dead. Sorry, this time you need my undivided attention because she is out to get me. Okay, I have, I'm cutting it close, so I have to hurry up and finish this. Those are the eyes. They're really, really pretty. Mascara's going to really set off. I'm using my Milk Kush Mascara. Um, my coworker Quan, so I have really long straight eyelashes. My coworker Quan told me the key to keeping a curl is using an eyelash curler and a waterproof mascara. I'm going to test that out very soon because I have never been able to hold a curl in my lashes, um, which I'm not mad about because like the way my lashes go, it looks like very like depressed and like nonchalant and like too cool, too cool for school kind of thing. But I'm, I want to. I want curled lashes, so I am gonna try that. Always get a fresh coat before you do your other eye curls. If you're doing one eye and then the other eye with the same coat of mascara, this eye's gonna look good and this eye's gonna look atro atrocious. We can't have that. And it isn't an add makeup look if you don't have a little bit of mascara residue on your lid because your eyes are so headed. We'll clean that up later. <laughs> I don't use this mascara underneath my eyes because the brush is so thick and if I'm getting transfer up here, you know I'm going to get transfer on my lower lashes. So I do my second coat with the roller lash and I wait until, so I do the bottom of mascara first of the second coat and then I do the top. And then it just guarantees that she's dry. It guarantees that the top lashes are dry. And for bottom mascara, oh, I'm completely out of camera. <laughs> for bottom mascara, I mainly like just like drag it across the bottom and it paints them perfectly. Um, I find that like just like painting them, it takes too long and it doesn't give the same effect. But um, when I layer my mascaras, I always do a volumizing first and then a, a lengthening and lifting second. So I get like the volume coats them very fast. It makes them look more full. And then if they get clumpy, a uh, brush like this, a lengthening and lifting will like separate them and make them look like really pretty. Okay. Now we clean the transfer. You just grab a clean makeup brush after it's dry and do 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 and she's gone cute um i always do setting spray before i do a lip i'm doing a brown like liner and a brown gloss today so it's not gonna be too, nothing too crazy Oh, Milk Hydro Grip setting spray also. I need a new bottle soon. I'm using the Makeup by Mario Lip Plumping Glosses in Shade Spice for the gloss today. And I don't know where my brown lip liner is. I was gonna do the Makeup by Mario lip liner too, but I can't find it, so I'm just going to do my Glam Light slash Rick and Morty collection lip liner. This is the Morty one, not the Rick one. And it's a really pretty nude color, so it'll work really well with this. Um, I don't like overlining my lips like all the way, but I like going over, I'll show you. Um, I put a Laneige lip mask on earlier, so I'm gonna take that off.
So I do the bottom. And then I do my cupid's bow. And then I go out in, like I go from the outside in. And um, this just makes my lips look fuller. I have naturally um, full lips, but um, who doesn't want them to look fuller? This looks a little bit more pink. I hope this goes well with this. Spice is so pretty though. Just wait. Okay, zoomed in, it didn't look that great, but from far it looks really good. I don't know. Spice is a really pretty color. I just don't think it's meant for my complexion. So I'm going to go in with my, I'm gonna use Rare Beauty's Lip Oil in Honesty. Okay, pretty. If you guys are interested in the lip oils, um, they're not really lip oils. They are like lip stains and they leave like, a glossy finish. Um, but I love them even more than lip oils because this color is going to stay and it's like pretty hydrating. So like I don't have to reapply it too much. Yeah, it's really pretty. So this is the final makeup look. Um, is it, giving, is it giving latte? Is it giving espresso? Is it giving cappuccino? It's really pretty. The glitter. Yeah, thank you for watching. Sorry that I am two months later than I told you in that last video. Um, I finally have something I can edit videos on, so I am gonna try to do like, I think I can actually do like four videos a week now i mean four videos a week oh yo <laughs> four videos a month like once a week um because i only work at sephora now i don't work at starbucks anymore so i have more time in my hands and i am a lot less physically exhausted every day so i can actually like get up um earlier and like film and actually have something to edit on so you guys will see content from me a lot more thank you for watching um if you have any i ideas for me any like makeup trends or anything you want me to do just let me know put it in the comments like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one